Alright, so, umpisa na tayo. Ang topic po natin ay fibromyalgia. Pag sinabing fibromyalgia, the word itself, fiber, fibro, fiber, myalgia, myalgia means um, muscle pain. So fibromyalgia, nandiyan dyan yung dull, dull ache pain, widespread pain, yung mga masasakit na shoulder, uh, parang tawag ng mga uh, sa atin dyan, yung lamig, laging masakit, masakit ang ulo, uh, widespread pain dito sa sa binte, sa knee, sa hips, sa likod. Uh, yan po ang tinatawag na fibromyalgia, widespread pain more than 3 months. Tapos associated din siya ng uh, laging pagod po. Kung pakiramdam nyo, laging pagod. Laging uh, kagigising nyo lang, pagod agad kayo. And, um, masakit ang ulo. May IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, ayaw pumasok kasi tinatamad kasi pagod. Tapos nahihirapan mag-concentrate. Yan po yung mga associated symptoms ng fibromyalgia. Of course, we have to do differential diagnosis. Napakihirap po ma-diagnose ang fibromyalgia. Uh, challenge po ito sa mga uh, doctors. Alright, so yung mga symptoms na yan, kailangan widespread pain. Yung old um, uh, differential diagnosis, meron tayong tinatawag na tender points back in 1990s can create po ito na tatandaan ko to nung nasa college pa ako I'm doing internship meron po tayong um, uh, 18 tender points pagka nakuha natin yung 11 tender points um, posibleng fibromyalgia siya and a widespread pain tapos ngayong uh, 2020 or the, uh, nagbago na after 15-20 years Ang diagnosis na yan, paano natin i-diagnose pagka may widespread pain, fatigue, and um, uh, what we called yung nahihirapan tayong mag-isip. Yan. Uh, of course, you have to see your neurologist and your medical doctors to really get a specific diagnosis. Unfortunately, wala po itong uh, inflammation according to researchers and um, experts of fibromyalgia. Um, unfortunately, what I meant was walang diagnostic testing. Wala po makitang uh, inflammation sa blood work, negative. Sa x-ray, sa MRI, wala pong makita. So, lagi siyang um, uh, in pain pero walang ma-objective findings. Yan ang fibromyalgia. According to um, science, uh, medical researchers and experts, Ang, ang, ang dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng fibromyalgia uh, ay dahil po ito sa hypersensitivity ng central nervous system, yung spinal cord and our brain. Somehow, ang fibromyalgia patients are, um, they're very sensitive to physical or pain stimuli, whether it's physical or emotional or um, stress nag-create po siya ng hypersensitivity. Uh, konting um, uh, maybe palpation, it creates some increase in pain. Uh, sometimes uh, yung depression, nagkakaroon tayo ng increase in pain. Ayan, lagi po yan magka, magka uh, dikit. Yung depression, uh, yung um, uh, fatigue, yan ang fibromyalgia. Common po ito yung mga associated symptoms ito. Uh, lalo na pagka stress somehow, sobrang sakit ng mga balikat, sobrang sakit ng shoulders, ng likod. Yan po yung mga triggering factor. Um, pag uh, nahihirapan sa trabaho, if you have problem with your uh, co-workers or your wife or your husband, pwede po siya mag-trigger ng fibromyalgia. Kaya, hindi ko rin po alam kung bakit ko ano yung nauuna, kung fibromyalgia first and then depression or depression first before fibromyalgia. Okay, lagi rin pong pagod ang mga pasyente ng fibromyalgia. And migraines and anxiety, yan po ang mga associated symptoms. Alright, ano ang, um, ano yung mga bagay na uh, pwede natin gawin, na mga exercises na pwede gawin, at mga pagkain na pwede natin kainin. I, ta, um, I-explain ko sa inyo or ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga exercises na pwedeng gawin sa mga pasyente may fibromyalgia. Mag-umpisa na po tayo, okay? Um, number one na exercise, ang ginagawa ko sa mga pasyente ko dito na may fibromyalgia is active range of motion. So mag-active range of motion muna yung mga 
shoulder exercise. So we're gonna do um, the YTW, all right? So we're gonna do this, uh, the Y first. So we're gonna do, lift your arms up, all right? Stretch po natin, Y, and then stretch. Okay, just like that, 10 repetitions. So Y, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yan po yung Y, alright? Pwede nyo kong sabayan yung mga YTW exercise. Now, yung T exercise, itaas natin yung, yung shoulder natin na ganyan. Okay, so one, two, Shoulder abduction, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yan po ang letter T. Tapos yung W naman. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alam niyo po sa fibromyalgia, importante ang nag-exercise. At uh, kasi pag uh, hindi nag-exercise, may hirapan tayong makatulog. If, so we have to force ourselves. Kasi alam ko na intindihan ko yung mga pasyente may fibromyalgia. The moment they wake up, or kung hindi man sila nakatulog, masakit na. Masakit. Napakahirap po may fibromyalgia. Kasi... Uh, may, ha may stiff back sila, wala silang ganang uh, magtrabaho, wala silang ganang uh, gumalaw. Pero ito po, encourage ko po kayo, yung mga pasyente dyan, o yung mga nakikinig po dyan, kung may fibromyalgia po kayo, hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kasi dito pa lang sa United States, there, there's estimated 10 million people ang affected ng fibromyalgia. Huwag po kayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Yung may pasyenteng fibromyalgia dyan na nakikinig, kayang-kaya niyo po yan. Kasi ang fibromyalgia, there is pain, yes. We have to admit it na meron tayong pain. Pero wala naman po silang nagda-damage. There's no um, known, hindi, hindi, hindi siya naka, nagda-damage ng internal organs or joints. Wala pong uh, diagnostic testing na nagsasabing um, nagda-damage yung joints natin or ang internal organs if you have fibromyalgia. So, maging uh, positive po tayo. Encourage ourselves that to keep moving. Importante po itong mga exercise na to, okay? The YTW, just do it 10 repetitions. Uh, mas maiging gumalaw kaysa nasa kama lang o kaysa nakaupo lang o nasa nakahiga lang. Mas importante, gumagalaw po tayo. Even if we're in pain, those patients with fibromyalgia. So, we did the YTW. Another one is a combination of... Um, uh, uh, breathing exercise. So, gagawin nyo, lalagay nyo yung kamay nyo behind your head. Okay? You're gonna do this. Alright? And then you open. Inhale. Exhale. You can just do this 10 repetitions. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 10 repetitions. Exhale. Like that. Okay, let's do two more. Okay, last one. Okay, yan po ang combination ng breathing exercise and active range of motion. Combination with stretching, you can actually stretch it for two seconds. Alright, so um, there's another stretching, posterior capsule stretching. I add nyo rin ito, stretching na ito. Alright, hold it for five seconds. And then this one, hold it for five seconds. Let's do this 10 repetitions, hold it for five seconds. All right, I'll, I'm gonna show, show you one more time. Okay. Okay, last one, posterior capsule stretching. Okay, all right, good. 
Alright, stretch naman natin yung lower back natin. We're gonna be doing in sitting position again. Um, ang tawag po dito is forward head flexion. Alright, forward head flexion. Um, you're gonna touch the floor. Alright, ganyan po. Touch the floor. Okay, and then you can do rotate to the right, hold it for two seconds, back to neutral, go to your left, hold it for two seconds, and then back. Again, forward flexion, rotate to the right, hold it for two seconds, back to neutral, go to your left, hold it for two seconds, and then back to neutral. All right, last one, I'm gonna show you one more time. Forward flexion, all right, go to your right, hold it for two seconds, back to neutral, go to your left, hold it for two seconds, and back to neutral. Yan po yung forward head flexion na uh, i-stretch natin yung lower back kasi laging may stiffness. Pwede rin po itong gawin ng mga senior citizen natin, sa mga viewers natin, whether you're young, old, pwede nyo pong gawin ito. Um, kahit gawin nyo araw-araw. Hindi lang po ito pang fibromyalgia. Ito po yung mga uh, kung may lagi kayong pagod or if you have um, uh, like aches and pain. Ayan. As long as you don't have any... Um, uh, severe diagnosis or or other conditions make sure you talk to your medical doctor okay but uh, this is safe for um, our senior citizen all right meron po tayong um, foam roll half foam roll again ang um, fibromyalgia dahil po ang laging um, laging may ma, uh, may lamig laging masakit yung balikat your shoulder your back your hips your your knees Ang gagawin naman natin, gumamit tayo ng half foam roll. Hihigaan nyo ito. Hihiga kayo. Combination of um, breathing exercise. Okay? Lagay ang half foam roll dito. And then you lie down. Alright? Ganito po. Mahiga kayo. Kung uh, madali nyo po ito. So kahit sa Pilipinas, you can buy a half foam roll. Or uh, a Shopee or Lazada. Or dito sa, sa US, sa Amazon, napakamura po ito. Siguro this is only uh, $10 or $15. Okay, so pagkahiga, ang fibromyalgia kailangan uh, mag-relax lang tayo. This is a relaxation technique. You can actually lie down for 5 minutes just like this to adjust your spine, to relax, and then combine with nice music. Okay, so you can just lie down like this. Yung foam roll nyo, nandito sa ulo hanggang all the way to the tailbone. So you can hold it for 5 minutes and then you can combine the 4, 7, 8 breathing exercise. Ang, ang ibig sabihin ng 4, 7, 8, yan po ay mag-inhale mag tayo ng 4 seconds. You hold it for 7 seconds, kung kaya nyo. And then after holding it, you're gonna exhale slowly, okay? So just like this. You can actually just do this for four cycles or four repetitions. Mararamdaman nyo na nakaka-relax siya. And you can uh, makakatulog kayo agad. Alright? So again, inhale for four seconds. Hold it for seven seconds. And then exhale for 8 seconds. Kung kaya nyo lang ng 4, 4, 4, just start with that. And then slowly get to 4, 7, 8. Alright? Okay. So after doing that, med, um, you're gonna add pelvic uh, bridging exercise. Alright? You can add bridging exercise. You can do this 3 sets of 10. So lifting your pelvis up and you do it slowly. You can tighten your stomach 30 times. Okay, kung kaya niyo lang ng 10 repetitions, you stop sa 10 repetitions. Okay, just like that. 10 repetitions one more time. Okay. Alright, so last one. Habang nasa foam roll kayo, or you can remove the foam roll. Kung wala kayong foam roll, just um, use the the table or or the bed 
Inhale lang po. Pag agising nyo, pwede kayong mag pelvic tilts or bridging exercise for 3 sets of 10. And last one, straight leg raising 30 times. Alright? Tataas lang po yung paa. Up and down for 30 times. Okay? And then kabila naman 30 times. 30 repetitions. After 10 repetitions, your rest. Maybe do 3 sets of 10. Okay? Now, you can add, lift your leg up, okay? And then do ankle pumping or rotation movement of the foot. Okay? Just like this. And then back. You can do this 3 repetitions after doing straight leg raising. And then back. And rest. Last one. Okay, I'm saying your last one. Ankle pumping exercise. Maybe three repetitions. And then back. Last one in this. Ankle pumping exercise. Okay. Alright. That's it. Okay. Tapos sa po tayo. Sana, um, kung ito po ay nakatulong sa inyo, share the videos and Please subscribe sa YouTube channel ko, Dr. Jun Reyes, PTDPT. And tungkol po doon sa mga tumawag sa akin at nag-message, uh, don't worry, I'm gonna return your call. I'm just too busy. I'm seeing patients. Um, I'm doing the Dr. Reyes liniment cream. And I'm busier. I'm seeing a lot of patients here at Dr. Reyes. I saw 55 patients uh, so one day. So I'm really, really tired. And I'm blessed. God bless you. Take care guys and keep on praying. Lahat po nung uh, nakikinig dyan, you're gonna get better. You're gonna be healed. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care.